What is up, you guys? I'm back for another video, you guys. Look, oh, my little baby. Look who I have, you guys. I have a new little baby part of the family. <laughs> she is so little. You guys see her? You guys, look at my new little baby part of the family. Baby, say hi to the family. Look at, say hi. Say hi. Look at, look at, look at. <laughs> You guys, so she's gonna be, I'm gonna put her back in her little bed. Guys, so I'm wearing this because you guys ranch, this is so hot and itchy, but because it is a ranch Christmas sweater, I am wearing it, you guys. Look at this. Um, damn, I look big. Steven, get on that diet. Steven, get on that diet. Because you be getting big. I think there's anything wrong with being big. All right, y'all. We're just gonna tear it up. Look at this, you guys. Pizza and wings. And these wings are not from Domino's. These wings are from Round Table. And I got some more wings here in case I eat all those. You know, let's just pour a little bit more out. These wings are flipping amazing. Ooh, that smells like some good ranch right there. Got some extra hot kicker sauce. Some Domino's. Let me play pray really quick. this food up let's do it let's do it disclaimer if you don't like having really back in morning don't watch the video the video is not for you oh that's watery ranch Mmm. 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 I ran to the freaking bum. Mm. Almost like tapatio. These round table wings. Are so freaking good. This is honestly so freaking good.
I can't even with hold on. I'm not even talking. I've been eating pizza and rice my entire my entire life. Even it's like middle school, but you have these round pizzas. And I remember me and my friends, we used to drown rats on it. So if you have never ate pizza with ranch, who are you? Who are you, really? I really wanna know. That's crazy. Basically, the bone cracks open and it's dark in the bone. I don't like that. So. This is a video. What I announced my diet, all right? If you guys do not know, if anyone's curious, whatever. April 1st, I think, I created a video called Pains Are Killing Me. And basically it's like, me being at my heaviest weight and feeling the effects of this food, literally feeling the effects of how this food makes you feel and like the, like, like, the money is great. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, the money is amazing. I don't deserve any of this at all. At all. Um, I'm just extremely blessed. But if I'm dead in the ditch, I would die from a heart attack. Like, what's the whole point, you know? I made money for what? For nothing, just to die? So... I wasn't gonna announce anything, but I think that I I, I want to start to honestly take my fitness journey and my health really, really, really seriously, and not just front. Because last year, 2019, April 1st, I went on keto, and honestly, I was 275. I'm now 245. My lowest was 235. Um, but I gained about 10 pounds back. Um, usually that's 
that's expected when you get off of keto and you start to eat carbs like crazy again because your body just just holds all that water. So basically, the first 10 pounds that you lose off of keto isn't really fat, it's just water weight and all that stuff. So I expected to gain about 10 pounds. So basically I lost what, about 30 pounds on keto, which isn't bad for being on it for two months. That's 15 pounds. 15 pounds. I was on it for like three months, but then I took like three weeks off. So total like two months, 30 pounds. That's honestly really, really good. I felt amazing on it. My digestive issues were fixed because eating like this, honestly, like after this, after I eat, eat all this food, I'm gonna feel like crap. And I know there's somebody out there who feels like they're stuck because honestly, for the longest time, I felt like I was stuck in this mukbang circle. Like, I'm just dying. I'm killing my, I'm not really dying, but it's like you're, you're, you're gonna get more unhealthy. You just keep eating this this food over and over and over every day, 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 every day. Because you want a nice fat paycheck, but this year is 2020. And aside from all the other crazy stuff that's going on in the world right now, I'm gonna try to eat healthier. We'll see what I'm gonna do. Honestly guys, these wings are fire. These wings are probably one of the best wings I've ever tasted in my entire life. The flavor is just amazing. How much meat they have on there? This is the mild flavor. They have a little bit of sweetness. I'm not a big fan of sweet wings. I really love hot wings. So that's my goal. Honestly, if you go to round table, if you have a round table pizza next to you, get the hot wings, the hot wings are fire. I think I, I filmed another video, a round table mukbang, and I ate the wings, and I said these are probably the best wings I've ever tasted in my entire life. I think I said that. If I don't remember, I think I, think, I, think I said that. So yeah, so if I said that double time, the second time that I had it, more than likely the wings are fire, so. Try it out. No shade to Wingstop or anything, but the last things I got from them were so freaking dry. I don't blame the Wingstop chain, I just blame the people who were overcooking them. I think that's what. But yeah, I'm done grubbing you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. Give the video a thumbs up. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video, alright?